Okay, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is once again Tubers Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again another video. I hope that you guys are having a good day out there and I hope you actually watched the latest uploaded video on Tubers Gaming HD because it is online right now and you should probably go ahead and check it out. So uh, please check out the previously uploaded ones. Right here we're back again in Farm Simulator 2017 as the follow up on the new mod that actually came out today. So this is the second video of today actually and I hope that you guys are ready for it. Because in this video we're going to take a look at the rest of the mods that actually came out today. So yeah, let's get into it right here and let's get into mods right here in general. Let's get into latest. Let's see what we do have right here. And we do actually have the machine hall right here which in for much Gebawa. This is a size 30 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 8 and the price on this is 80,000 euros. The maintenance is 10 euros per day. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one which is the Bresselanade V17 from Kyosho's Mod Factory. This is a solid roller with very large roller diameter, optimum compassion, compaction, results due to special tray per shoulder elevation on the ring. Don't even know what that is but it sounds pretty good. Then we have the homemade multi-tool right here which is from N. OTR3ADY. This is a homemade multi tool for transporting bales and pallets. And you can see right here, as it looks like this, and uh, I think it is looking quite good. These right here is new mods that we got today, and if you actually like them, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up on the video right here, and also make sure to click the red button down below the video to actually subscribe to the channel. That would be pretty lit. Let's go ahead and get into this, like in in, in for real. Let's get into career mode, let's get into Cold, Cold Quest, Gold Quest Valley, which is of course the map that I'm going to showcase new mods for you guys in, as I did that in the latest video too. So right there, deselect all, select all, and let's scroll down till we find the Seasons CEO, Snowy Lands, let's go ahead and take them away. And then we're actually in here, and we should be able to go ahead and start out, which I already did. So we clicked across to start out the game and we are in it to win it. Oh, oh. oh Jesus, what the flip are you doing? I don't even know, I haven't checked if there is any new mods in, in testing today. <laughs> no, I just checked it on my uh, other screen right here for the National PC. Lizardtown actually updated the list today, Tuesday, October 9. Perfect timing, nothing in testing right now. So we got the new mods out right here and there is still, or kind of like there is nothing in testing. So that's pretty, that sucks. Uh, but there is a number of mods waiting to be tested as a number of 23. So that's kind of like what we have to go out with, I think. Let's go ahead and stand out right here and let's get up to Morgan's Massive Motors, the M3. It is not a, w, a BMW M3, but it is just an, an M3 store. And what we do have right here, I think it is going to be in... Levelers the one right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can find it. The Brussels and Lada. It's not in here. That seems strange. Uh, maybe in Misk. Don't know. But there is a lot of different kind of things in uh, in Misk, and we have it right here. Yep. Then we have the multi tool. Maybe homemade multi tool. I think this is actually the one. You can take it brand new look, or you can go ahead and take it rusty and worn look which I am gonna go ahead and showcase for you right here so these are kind of the two new things that we do have in the game right here and uh, yeah that's just how it is sometimes guys I actually do believe so let's go ahead and actually see what the machine hole is about I think the machine hole is just an update for something that was in the game already but we're about to find out I think it is in place able since it is a house or it's it's a hall actually so maybe it is to be found in place I think this is actually it 80,000 uh, let's go ahead and play where can I actually place it I can place it up here if I want to so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do Boom. 
Boom, boom, boom. Here we do have these things, but let's go ahead and just head over to the machine hall at first. I think that would be the best idea to go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and get into a list of convertible right here, and let's get over there. So, um, the hall is kind of out here in the forestry. It looks pretty strange, and I do actually... Oh, there's a uh, issue with this. But usually it kind of like uh, make this kind of pretty stubborn and pretty pretty solid and pretty flattened out so that you can actually go upon it if you want to. But right here it's on a hill so that why that might be the reason why it's not like straight out on the on the floor level I think. But um, that's just my opinion on it. Of course my opinion is not always correct but that's just how it is. So we're gonna get in here, and you can see that it is kind of like looking pretty dope, indeed, doesn't it? I think it's looking quite cool. Uh, the machine hole right here, but it does indeed look like every other machine hole that we've seen in Farm Simulator 2017. So I gotta say, there's nothing like special about this, but um, that's just how it is sometimes. I think it is. So um, yeah, I think it's good with with new things on the game right here, and uh. Kind of just new mods and new stuff, but uh, sometimes it just changes everything when there's kind of like some game changing stuff. And this is not game changing though, so this is this is basically what you can say uh, just a machine hole. That's it. So, yeah, right there. Let's get into this again and let's head over to Morgan's Massive Motor Motors once again. I think that's gonna be the place where we're gonna be right now. Gonna hit over there, cruise control is on. No it's not, I'm just driving full throttle over there to Morgan's massive motors. Because I wanna review the homemade multi-tool and also the Bristol and Lade, or at least I wanna take a look on them. The Bristol Lade from DE right here, which is a uh, <coughs> you can call it um, what can you call it? Yeah, you can actually call it a leveler. Uh, you go up in, uh, what can you say, like the pile of grass for the cows. Just turn this on and it basically levels out the grass so that it is pretty, pretty or slight straightened, if you can say that. I don't know if it is the right word to use. But you can correct me if I'm wrong. Always, you can you can always do that actually. So correct me if I'm wrong. Am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. Am I? Um, but uh, whatever. Uh, I think that's pretty dope. With 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 those with with that thing in common uh, indeed. Ooh. <laughs> so that's another thing to actually think about. I do believe, and uh, right there. We do have all the breasts and lard. But I gotta say, the homemade tool right here, I think it's pretty dope, pretty, pretty... I don't know what to say about it, there's a lot of opinions on it actually, but I do think it is pretty cool. So, um, that's my opinion on it right here. The homemade multi-tool, I think it is pretty freaking awesome, indeed. So, uh, that's just my opinion of course, and uh, you can always uh, leave your opinion in the comment section down under if you want to go ahead and do that. Uh, you're always welcome to do so. So, yeah. But I do believe that the old one is looking like the best. Uh, over here I do have a case I hate 1455XL, which is actually a tractor that I'm just going to go over after because um, we have to test the stuff on the tractor. Uh, like real, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right here. It doesn't have a front, what can you say, front, um, front lift. Actually, it doesn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't. But that's just how it is sometimes, I think. So we're gonna go ahead with cruise control. Right here. Go ahead and see if we get this on right there. <whistles> D 
There we have that. Have this one too. You can take this up. So you can use this for pallets. Right there. You can use this for round bales, square bales, pallets, whatever you want. So that's pretty, it's a multi-tool as they also did say in, uh, or as I also did say in, uh, in the beginning of the video. It is a multi-tool, which means that it can be used to multiple kind of opportunities or tasks. So uh, that is for me like pretty dope actually and uh, pretty nice I gotta say. Whatever, I still do believe that it is time to go ahead and end the video right here. So once again, I just want to say big thanks for coming up and big thanks for showing your appreciation to True Brothers Gaming HD. This is the second video of the day, so finally some new stuff to the game right here. But I do believe that we are going to go ahead and think mostly about the upcoming game 2019 of Farms Mayor, which is coming up October 20th this year so there's not that many days or that many weeks until the game comes up but uh, yeah we've been waiting for some new stuff and finally we've got some new stuff right here so i do believe it's pretty dope indeed once again i just want to say big thanks for coming through right here please hit the thumbs up on the video if you haven't done that make sure to subscribe to the channel of course and uh, then we're going to see you guys in the next one hopefully don't know when it's going to be i'm not i cannot promise that i'm posting every single day right here in october because there's simply nothing to post about uh, no new things no differences in the game i'm not playing on pc because you guys don't like it and so on and so on and so on so once again thanks for watching we're gonna end the video right here we're gonna see you guys later don't know where it's gonna be but yeah that's dope we're gonna see you guys bye bye adios amigos bye